I hope you're all having a great, wonderful Tuesday. My name is Tiffany, aka Puffhead Vegan. And y'all, I literally could not believe my eyes when I looked at the news and I saw that Manhattan Restaurant 11 Madison Park, I can't even believe I'm saying this, is changing their menu to like whole plant-based. Well, mostly. They're keeping milk and honey still for coffee, but yeah, other than that, no animal products. Now, if you live in New York or like in the Manhattan area, you probably already know about 11 Madison. But in case you didn't know, this is one of the best ranked restaurants in the whole entire world. I'm talking about like fine, fine dining. In fact, in 2016, when they released the world's best restaurants, I think it was a list of the top 50, they placed third on that list in 2016, and in 2017, they were number one. Which I'm sure like makes it obvious why this is such a big deal, but I'm just straight up blown away by this because they are one of the first restaurants to do this to their menu. Like one of the first upscale fine dining restaurants. And do you know what that means? People gonna copycat, okay? We about to get gourmet. Now, like I said, they are keeping milk and honey on their menu, but my hopes honestly is that like they put some oat milk on there and some agave and that just pushes the other ones out because nobody even wants to deal with it at a vegan restaurant you know that's my hopes that's like my thoughts and prayers now from my understanding they're not open right now they're gonna reopen June 10th of this year so if you want to try this because I know I do you know where to go y'all I was looking up this restaurant and their tasting menu price came up now me I'm so not fancy not bougie that I had to look up what even is a tasting menu it was kind of obvious once I looked it up. So I get a little taste of the whole menu. Now, without drinks, no tips or anything like that, that starts at 335 per person. So they really not playing around with this cuisine, are they? I don't think so. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw that price, I was like, um, why is it the same? I mean, naturally, it's the cheapskate in me. I'd be expecting plant-based options to be a little bit cheaper than the meaty ones. But then I got excited. Because I was like, this restaurant has a name. This restaurant has an establishment, has a entrepreneurial way. And everybody's going to come here. It's not just going to be like vegan or plant-based eating people. It's going to be everybody. People who eat meat, vegetarians, everybody's going to want to come here. Simply because of just what here is. That means people aren't just going to be lining up for $300 plates that aren't about to throw them and they wig cap across the room. You know what I mean? So the fact that up front they're already being like, yo, don't expect less, don't bring less, just tells me off the bat that they're about to blow me away. Honestly, while I was looking, I was like, mm, do I want to go here next year for my birthday? I think I do. My past two weren't that wonderful, so I want to treat myself to some fine dining vegan food. You know what I mean? Now, this cool person, the owner of the restaurant, did mention something in his statement that I thought was worth noting. He was talking about like how he knew that he was taking a really big risk with going with this kind of menu. Like talking about how he understands the repercussions of taking like some of your best best star items off your menu. What I loved that he said was that he decided to take this risk because he was so inspired by the plant-based movement by the way that we can take dishes that are centuries old and we can reinvent them without any cruelty. Better for the environment, better for our health, just overall better, you know what I mean? And that's really part of what fuels my like love so much for like veganism is the fact that you really don't have to miss out on anything. I think when we all start these journeys or just when people hear about us starting these journeys, they think, oh, you're gonna miss out on this, this, and this. But finding substitutes that work along the way is such a fun journey. And it really helps you understand at the end of the day, you're missing out on like five things. That's it. In this world of rosemary, thyme, allspice, nutmeg, you're missing out on cow, chicken, pork, egg. Out of the billions and billions and billions of things to eat, you're losing like five, you'll be fine. And the fact that we can have like top ranked number one best restaurants in the world making the change and committing those same tastes and that same quality but plant-based is just proof of that. Just proof that this is something that everyone can do and we're actually starting to take baby steps to let people realize yeah definitely you can still go to your upscale $300 plate restaurants without any animal products. I mean, I have a video on my channel of a full-blown steak out of an eggplant. 
Like, that was Gordon Ramsay, you know what I mean? It's just, the possibilities are literally endless. But what do y'all think? Do you think that's a smart move to make? Do you think that that's a little bit too risky business-wise? Like I said, they don't open until mid-June, so it's definitely gonna be a second before we can actually see how that goes, but I'm gonna be following, and I'm definitely gonna keep y'all updated, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because uh, I really wanna know how business does. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Please also be sure to check out 11 Madison Park's Instagram page so you can follow with them, updates and all that. Be sure to check out my Instagram, Puffheaded Vegan. And while you're at it, you can go ahead over to my TikTok too, which is at Tiffany Odessa. I talk about vegan news, recipes, advice for beginners, or just for people kind of struggling to make their food taste like the bomb, you know what I mean? So if that sounds like your thing, go ahead and follow along with the journey. I hope y'all have a great week i hope everybody stays positive manifest your goals your dreams don't forget your veggies and i will see y'all later on with another video thanks so much peace out bye